Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering a question from one of you guys, so let's get into it. All right, so today's question is from Drago's BMW. Hey man, nice, nice tasting cars, but um, says, hey Jordan, when you first started, how did you approach your first clients? Now, this is probably one of the hardest things to do because to get momentum in real estate photography, you have to have customers. Now, sometimes you have to do things that you're a bit uncomfortable with, and that is um, at the getting in front of real estate agents, whether that's through email, phone calls, text messages, um, Facebook messages, Instagram. I mean, there's all kinds of ways, whether you wanna message them through Zillow, search them up. Um, there's a lot of strategies um, to get your first clients, but this is obviously the most important part of starting your business is, is to get in front of customers. Now, there are things that are even more important, but you could have the best processes, uh, the best equipment, the best everything, but if you don't have customers, that's all in vain. Once you get customers, you really need to focus on your customer experience to retain them. And then the way to get momentum in this business is to really take care of your customers, manage that customer experience, deliver a great customer experience, and then your customers become your best sales force um, that you um, can have out there. You know, I think a referral customer sticks around a lot longer than somebody that you're just trying to get. Now, let's get back to this. So your question is, how did I do it when I first started out? Well, I did a lot of different things, right? So uh, I'm a real estate agent, I'm a licensed real estate agent, and I, uh, I got a list, I accumulated a list of pretty much the majority of real active real estate agents in my area. I sent them emails. Um, so obviously you're gonna get a lot of hate mail or s spam flags, but you gotta get out there. I sent so many emails and I had an offer uh, when I first started. Um, at the time, there weren't too many options in the area that I was servicing for real estate photographers. So some people that were not happy with the one or the two other options that there were at the time gave me a shot. And I, I luckily got some pretty big full brokerages that switched over to me early on in my business, which really helped um, in the momentum. And they're still customers to this day. Um, they've referred a whole bunch of customers to us, but you have to, you need to get a couple um, target real estate agents that actually do business. You know, some agents do one or two listings a year. You need somebody that's doing one to two a week or at least a month, right? If it's a solo real estate agent, I think that's good. You need reoccurring uh, business. And that's one of the best things about real estate photography over other um, photography niches is that your customers will use you over and over again as they get more listings, um, as long as you um, deliver a great customer experience. So uh, for me, I did um, emails. Um, I also DM'd on Facebook. I friend requested a whole bunch of real estate agents. Um, I did different things. One thing that I did do, I mean, I've done so many things that work, so many things that bomb that didn't work at all. But the key is to do a lot of things to try to get in front of these agents, right? Um, you know, I recognized agents DM, hey, congratulate. I pulled their numbers. I was like, you know, congratulations on closing 35 deals last year. You were a top 1% producer in Phoenix. Congratulate, whatever. Nothing to do with sales, nothing to do with uh, real estate photography, just to add value to them. That was something that I did. And doing that activity, actually, it may not have converted customers immediately, but some of our biggest customers came from that activity um, because they would remember that. And then they, one of our biggest customers responded like several months later, hey, are, are you available? Like that that message was in his thing. He remembered that I messaged him about it. Or if somebody is like, who is this guy that knows where my ranking is? They'll click on your profile, 
where does that lead, right? Um, to your Facebook profile? Do you have a banner that shows what you do, your company? Is it easy to for them to say, oh, click on this guy. Oh, this guy does real estate photography. That's what they should run into. They should see some portfolio. Hey, he does pretty good work. I'm gonna give him a shot on my next one. Or if you're doing like offering up free shoots or whatever, I mean, there's so many methods, but I know I can talk forever on this subject, but Anyways, that's kind of how I did it. I guess short answer, I could go into way more uh, detail, but I won in this video. I like to keep my video short. If you got value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as I consistently put out real estate photography uh, videos just like this on a daily basis. And uh, for, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.